We have Popo Molofe, uh, who is the Prasa chairperson on the line. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Now, can you confirm that pro the Prasa board has been dissolved? Well, I've heard from other directors that they have received letters uh, advising them that uh, their service uh, has been terminated. I haven't received my letter. I do not know why, because the advisor to the minister and the acting DG know where to find me. I haven't received it, but uh, I have no reason to believe that uh, the story is not true. I, I have every reason to believe that it is true. Hmm. Now, what reasons have been cited to you for the dissolution? I beg your pardon? What reasons have been cited to you, or do you think uh, there no, is for I'm the dissolution? You, I've not received a letter, so I don't know uh, what are the reasons, save that in the news, uh, they ascribe the, the reason to uh, the debate in the portfolio committee uh, yesterday and today, the, uh, the kinds of things that parliamentarians uh, have been saying, some of which were very wild and irrational anyway. Uh, so I'm waiting for my letter that will explain to me uh, mm. what the minister says. But all I can say is that clearly the fact that nobody spoke to me as the chairman of the board Mm -hmm. uh, to advise me of the intention of the minister to do so, mm -hmm. uh, and the fact that the minister asked us to write her a detailed report, which report we submitted to her on Friday last week. We were expecting at least that she would peruse the report and uh, give us a feedback, whether she accepts what we say or she rejects it. But we would have expected that when a person asks for a report, she would not just take that report and throw it into the archives and take this kind of drastic action without mm. any rational um, uh, engagement. Mm. Now, you say you've received your letter and you're not quite clear as to the reasons uh, why this has happened. But do you think or perhaps uh, could I'm saying that you said you received your own letter and you're not quite clear as to the reasons why this has happened um, and you can't really confirm that. But do you think that it possibly could do uh, rather to do with the sacking of Collins uh, Letzuala? Well, it is probably an attempt to protect Letzuala. But we are very clear as a board that we would not allow a Saudi incarnate uh, mm -hmm. in Prasa. We would not be ruled by a person who's supposed to appoint uh, account to the board. Neither would we allow a minister to abuse executive powers to deny the board to exercise its fiduciary duties. And mm -hmm. quite clearly we would challenge uh, mm -hmm. her decision in this regard because somebody is going to put this rapacious abuse of power to an end. Now, what possible ways does the transport minister have to handle Sorry? the situation? What possible ways does, does the transport ministry have to handle this kind of a situation? You know, you know, I can't hear you. Your voice is very low. It seems that we have a very bad line. I'll try to speak up. What I was saying was, what possible ways does the transport ministry have to handle the matter from here? Well, I suppose you can ask her. Eh? Uh, she chose to proceed in the manner in which she has proceeded. Uh, quite clearly, we would challenge it uh, to ensure that um, we defend our rights as directors, our integrity and reputation. We would like to believe that we are one board that was very clear that it will exercise its fiduciary duties and it will cor confront corruption. And we're dealing with these matters. Uh, as you know, uh, the irregularities and corruption amount to billions of rands of the taxpayers' money. And as you know, that the minister has attempted in the past to tell the board to stop the investigation. And when we said we were not going to stop it, she tried to spin her language to say that, no, she did not say we must stop it. She meant that... Uh, we must move towards conclusion. Yeah. So, so uh, we think that uh, 
this decision also is one way of achieving the end of this investigation, mm. uh, which she couldn't achieve by getting the board to be the one that takes the decision to stop it. We can't stop it. Mm. Uh, because I think South Africans want to see seriousness in confronting acts of corruption in this country. Mm. Now, are you trying to say that you are not satisfied with the minister? I'm doing what? I'm saying, are you saying that you're not satisfied with the way that the minister is handling uh, things? No, I'm not satisfied. Who could be satisfied when you sit as the chairman of the board and you hear in the media that uh, the minister has fired you? Hmm. And she has not uh, even followed a particular process of engagement. Mm. Hmm? And now what fuels your belief that firing of the board could be an attempt to shield Collins? Well, you know, we, we sent Collins back to her. And she writes a letter saying there has been a public spat. She wants us to explain the public spat. Whereas we told them when we asked Collins not to call a media press conference. She rushed to call, uh, he rushed to call a press conference. We asked the acting DG in the department as the employer of Colin to ask him to stop what he is doing. They didn't stop it. When we respond to what he says, they call it media spat, public spat. That's not a public spat. Mm. It's a board that must respond in defense of the organization. You can't have a board which would have things said about it, and it does nothing. Hmm. Well, uh, Mr. Popo Molefe, thank you so much for joining us there. That was the chairman of PRASA just saying that he's not satisfied with the way that the minister has handled the situation, hearing that uh, they're fired uh, from the media and saying that uh, he feels that this possibly could be uh, a, you know, a way to cover up things or to shield uh, Collins there. Um, and just basically saying that he's dissatisfied with the way that things have been coming out and saying that it was not a public spat uh, when it reg regarding Collins uh, uh, that came uh, forward yes, there um, and also that um, the investigation mm -hmm. was not uh, properly done and uh, rather the processes and procedures into firing the board was not uh, done according to uh, practice or policy.